Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we have a quick and simple video about a quick and simple game development tool, and quite frankly, quick and simple are sometimes the best kind of tools. Now this is coming from the same guy that did the Game UI database. If you are already a subscriber, you probably checked this video out about a week ago. Uh, it is an excellent resource. The ultimate reference for interface designers is what they say, and I think that's pretty accurate. A gigantic collection of um, you know game UIs that you can drill down to, get a ton of different information on them, sort them by a variety of different categories. If if you are developing game UIs, definitely the game UI database is something you want to be aware of. But that's not what we we're talking about today. No, what we we're talking about today is Pad Crafter. Again, from the same guy, uh, Ed Coates, and that's one why I'm talking about the other project as well. So what's this one about? Well, this is for designing controller UI layouts, and that's pretty much about it. So if you're trying to decide how to map controls to a controller across a variety of different platforms, that's what this one is all about. So for example, we can load an example in. So let's say we wanted uh, Elden Ring. Here are the controls for Elden Ring. Now, it'd be very cool also if this grows so that this whole examples thing ends up being a database like the UI database. So you basically get this is navigatable, searchable setup of all the various different control schemes that are out there. That would be very, very cool if this turns into that. But even if not, if you're just trying to work with somebody else over trying to come up with uh, you know, a control layout for your game, that's what you can use this for. On top of this, you can also export out as JSON for use in Unity. So you can import that into the Unity game engine. It basically gives you a JSON string of uh, the data that you've done there. Uh, also coming soon, but not available yet, you'll be able to export out this image right here as an SVG or a scalable vector graphics. So you can actually use this as a graphic generator for uh, your help or documentation or your materials, uh, whatever. So that's actually another cool thing here. But what you do is use this to design the layout of your controls. So here you can see you've got a couple different setups, the menu system and the combat system. And then you just got a mapping of what each actual item does. Now, one thing to be very aware of though um, if you're using for example a retina mac the default scaled resolution is like 15 12 by 8 something uh, so you'll notice if you come at this guy uh, from a oops i'm going the wrong direction from a scaling better than 1500 by so pixels it it really becomes kind of useless to be honest so if you're using a retina mac your default resolution it's not going to look good just scale it out a couple times it will look much better so you can change the controller colors available over here probably the coolest abilities you can actually switch between console layouts so here you can see the controller mapping for the playstation version in yellow i'm gonna go with purple though because purple is a much cooler color and you can also do it for the nintendo switch now it'd be cool to see if there was a nintendo switch option for the um joy con in the landscape mode as well but that's kind of a small thing here so realistically if you came in here you want to design your own just come in here design your own all right let's go up here we'll call this uh driving controls so there uh and then a lot of times you do a as uh brake or handbrake or brachy um yeah, so you put there in here, well, this is well, this one has horn, and you can try to just sort of do your UI mapping of whatever you want here. Well, over here, we'll do gas. Over here, we'll do brake, for example. And then if you have multiple setups here, you can obviously go over here and switch this over to um, force person or whatever. And then you do it again uh, in the other platform. So you can switch back and forth between the tabs over here. Uh, and then again, you can switch between the consoles over here. You can switch between the color of the controls over here. And again, coming soon, in theory, we're also going to get this option to export this out as an SVG graphic, which will be also quite cool. Uh, and you also have this canvas option here. So you can get rid of the uh, the bars that you saw and literally just have your answer. This, this will look better if we go back to uh, a control setup here. So you can actually go here to clean canvas and then get rid of the uh, you know underlying text enter areas. So then if you're going to do a printout graphic of your control scheme, you could do it this way. And then really the only final thing that you've got here is you can save and share. And really all that is, is it's a URL with the encoding information in the URL straight. So then if you're sending, if you're working with somebody else, Simply copy that URL to the clipboard like so. Go on over to a new browser window. They will just click that in and boom, they have your copy. They make edits. They send that URL back to you and bingo, bango, presto, you have your new UI layout. And again, you can get this guy out in JSON format. Uh, you can see the string that it generates right there of all the various different options for use in, you know, if you wanted to do an importer into another game engine or if you want to import into Unity for a control scheme, you could do that there. And then in the future, which is going to be quite cool, there is going to 
to be the option to export this out as an SVG. So what you'd probably want to do once again is go to Clean Canvas, get this image like so, and then export it out as SVG. But that functionality is not quite here yet. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Pad Crafter available at Pad P A D Crafter C R A F T E R dot com, a completely free tool. Also, once again, be, do be sure to check out. Uh, the uh, Game UI database. If you didn't check that video out already, this is an awesome resource for designers available at GameUIDatabase.com. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.